Anyways, let me do my daily commissions. Whoa, barrel region. Have you done your daily Watatsumi Island chest? Oh, shit. Okay, fuck the commissions. We gotta do that first. That's our commission. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. I almost forgot. You should react, Andy, to this. It's interesting. You should react, Andy, to this. I'm just gonna look at the title. I'm not gonna... Stop recommending National. I'm not watching that. It's it's probably a few good takes, but with a bait title, so you watch it. There's a summary of the video. Hey, a Shangling and Singcho are constellation dependent, and there's some teams you could play like Hyperbloom that can give you more output, and it's probably kind of true, kind of not true. You're welcome. Might be a good video. Might not be a good video. If I'm out of content, I'll watch it. He hates Hyperbloom. Okay, I don't like when people paraphrase another person listen now you guys are paraphrasing another creator because now if i all i hear is they hate hyper because now i'm taking your word and if the word is they hate hyper bloom then why would you hate a super free to play friendly easy team that invalidates a lot of the single target carries you would otherwise pull for that's just great and that costs like nothing to build other than em but see that's probably not what they said and now i'm gonna have to watch it to argue about it so i don't want to so fuck all of you <laughs> what the fuck never let Hello? Oh. They said you hate Hyperbloom? Me? I don't hate Hyperbloom. When the fuck did I say I hate Hyperbloom? I hate that it exists. Actually, that's not true. I, I just think it like makes Hu Tao worse. Because <laughs> why would you pull for a single target carry when you can Hyperbloom? But who cares? Like it's broken. Hyperbloom is cringe. Am I getting one guide? I'm getting one guide. Okay, fine. I'm gonna get one guide. Fine! I'll get one guide! If it's a good video, check it out. If it's a bad video, just, you know, be normal and don't give them hate. Cool? Cool. We're on the same page. Okay. This is called Stop Recommending Hyper Blue. I'm not gonna watch it all. Uh, notably because it has... I don't think dislike ratio is everything, but for the record, I don't have... My most controversial video is this and this has like and now it's irrelevant this is patch 1.6 so now this is gonna look stupid by the way and this has like you know for the record if you're even remotely caught oh but i have to watch the intro before i watch the rest because if not it's out of context what are these called Hi reality of hyperbloom damage i've seen the calcs hyperbloom teams are not special true low investment argument oh no oh no no, don't counteract the low investment argument. Your biggest controversy is when you said you like women and laughed. Dude, say... Okay, listen, I'm gonna clarify this. Just saying that sentence out of context is like... It's, it's, it's like... It was like weird and out of context, but yes, I like women and I would like to assume and hope that my community likes women and we all do and respect them and are not, there are no misogynists in my community, true and based, okay? It just was a random out, of, like you forced me, I was on the spot, I said it and the context was funny, that's all. I don't like reacting to these videos because whatever I say is, I don't like it. I don't like it when I react to someone uh, we'll just watch Shout it. Out to the quote-unquote meta side of Genshin Legends <laughs> uh... in the past two years, you know that there is one thing in the game that's just built different than the rest of the roster. Hyperbloom, the legendary elemental reaction that does a more billion damage per rotation. Hyperbloom, a team core that requires no- Also, no one says Hyperbloom is like, like the best like reaction always, by the way, right? Like we know, I'm sure that people here and like theory crafters and stuff know that like you know, I'd rather play Child Shangling and like a lot of other AOE teams than just hyper them all the time. But it's very good and it's very low investment. In, in the sense, it's not low investment in the sense of, oh my God, hi, try getting an EM Goblet. It's so hard. It's like, look, so you're going to get Flower and Feather are virtually not irrelevant, but like you're going to get them before your other pieces. And then you're going to get an EM, either Circlet or Goblet on top of your sense. The other one can be offset. And the odds of you farming that, especially if it's a set, a domain, like part of the reason about it, because a lot of new people are Flower of Paradise Andes. A big part of Hyperbloom being popular is I got super unlucky on Golden uh, Troop. No, Gilded Dreams. What the fuck is it called? Gilded Dreams. 
I got really dry on my EM pieces, and I still got it passively from farming for a good deep wood, a good crit set for Alhytham, a good crit set for fucking, well, Sino uses TF, but you could use it on Sino or like whoever, right? So a big part of it was you're going to get the EM passively while farming for other shit. If you have to go out of your way to farm Flower of Paradise Lost and try to get the best EM fucking Sands, Goblet, Circlet on set, yeah, yeah, maybe it'll be easier to get a 60-120 crit ratio on your Shangling, maybe. I didn't watch this video yet, by the way. I'm just saying. Because I know that's a thing. Like, people might take this and be like, hey, I got really unlucky on my EM goblet. Let's look at the math of an EM goblet. Like, I get it. But it's like, a big part of it is you're going to passively get either a goblet or a circle. You don't need both. On, like, Golden Troop, which is a very efficient Gilded Dream. Why can't I remember? I keep confusing Golden and Gilded. Whatever. The one with Deepwood. Compared to, like, while you're farming your Deepwood. Also, you don't need four golden, by the way. If this is a big argument, I don't know if this is a point of the video, but if it is, you can always go two wanders to golden or two golden to gilded, not golden. Fuck me sideways. You can always go two beasts, two beasts, because it's only a little bit of EM loss. It's not like the biggest fucking deal. Uh, and a, a big part of your team's damage is also like Sing Cho and other characters. Great. Okay. One thing to say. This is going to be... I'm sure this video is filled with a bunch of valid... Uh, points, but you need to understand two things. One, if you're playing Singsho and Yolan together, yes, they're gonna carry your team. When I'm playing, and like, what's a good example of this? When I'm playing an on-field carry, even, dude, when I play Hu Tao, Farina, Yolan, and Jean, I oftentimes swirl Hydro, and it's my Hydros that are carrying, not my Hu Tao. I know that's not like the best team, but like a lot of the times, strong Hydro supports are doing more than your fucking reactions. But, and also here you don't have a, like, let's just let them talk. Your Hydro character's personal damage. Believe it or not, every single good Hyperbloom team possesses a damage profile consisting not primarily of Hyperbloom damage, yep. but of Talon damage, sure. like any other good team. Sh sure. Hyperbloom is simply a good source of sub DPS that you can incorporate into teams. Teams? Consisting that you can teams consisting of already good units and not needing a lot of investment. Is he going to say that? Already good. Because you just need a character, on, like your healers on full EM. That do damage. It has never been a sole focus okay, no. and should not be regarded as such. No, you can't just play Yao Yao, Barbara, DMC, and Kuki and expect a competent team for the sole merit of it being Hyperbloom. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, now that you can if you just change one of the units. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I mean, you actually technically could with this team. It's just the amount of damage you'd gain by just having Synchro would be very high. Test the team in the abyss. <laughs> I mean, we could. Okay, we could test the team. For their soul. What is it? Let me write it down. Yao, Yao, Barbara, DMC, Kuki. Merit of it. Hyperbloom damage only contributes to a fraction. Yeah, because you're running Al Haitham and Farina. No shit. You're running Al Haitham, Farina. Of course, you don't need the Hyperbloom, but it's a big passive damage source that is literally nothing. Like, it takes no effort at all. You need Electro without Haitham, you need a healer without Haitham. So the Hyperbloom is literally free. It's entirely free. It's fully free. The alternative is running like Fischl. Okay, yeah, Fischl gives you damage. But like, uh, Fischl without Haitham is only really good if you can Fischl in between Al Haitham's burst and it's starting. So you have to burst, swap to Fischl, E or Q, and then swap back to Al Haitham, which me testing on the high ping Asia server wasn't consistent. Me doing on my main account, I can do. But if you get interrupted, it fucks it up. So yeah. Totally. He's beefing. I am not beefing at all. I think realistically, I'm going to finish watching this video and be like, this guy has good points, but words it in a bad way. But I think that's their point so they get, they can call it like this. I think is the Jeff's weak point is wording things in a way that doesn't make people hate him. And I think this video so far is like, this community is glorifying Hyperbloom, you fucking losers. Like, I know that's not what he's saying, but it's like, dude, we're, you can present your point differently. Anyways, they're by no means outliers compared to the myriad of other top teams that don't make use of Hyperbloom at all. Nivellet carry. Yeah, have... no shit, Nivellet. I'm gonna cream. Also, also, this team has a significant amount of damage. That's Farina and Yalan, which is the same argument he's making about Hyperbloom. Like a big part of your team's damage isn't just a Hu Tao. As I True. said, good Hyperbloom teams are among the best in the game. They just aren't anything special. True. I think, if anything, he's talking to the wrong people that are saying Hyper... Like, no, I don't think I've met a TC saying, like, yeah, Hyperbloom is better than, like, the top meta teams. I think the main argument that I've seen people make and that I have made a lot of times is, like, hey, by the way, Hyperbloom can get you to the DPS check you're looking for to clear the Abyss a lot faster. 
like it can get you there very easily not easily because i know like i don't know hyperloom is really good with low effort like listen if i'm playing sino Singtro, like not okay well like yeah sino what does he want a dendro character what's like the best support in the game Singtro. you're literally hyperblooming by accident like you don't need the fucking hyperblooms they just happen a lot of teams are like let's say you're playing like Singtro. uh who's a good carrier i mean i don't want to use alhytham again but we'll use alhytham again let's say you're playing alhytham Singtro. no fuck Singtro. alhytham electro there's like no reason not to add a hydro. Like unless you're playing like Fischl and you like don't have EM on your characters, sure. But it's like, it's so easy to just passively hyper bloom with your healer. Cause you need a healer in the team. The alternative is like, okay, you're not running a healer. You could do like Fischl, Zhongli, uh, I'll hide them. And then you can flex the last slot. You might not hyper bloom, whatever. But it's like, I don't know. I think it's just like free a lot of the times. And it doesn't need a lot of investment and it's really good single target. And a lot of abysses right now are very, uh, one of the two halves, they make it single target. In the past, it's like, it was very AOE abysses when Venti was really good. Um, honestly, Shao too, but anyways, well, not like, you know, Copium, but you know what I mean. But now there's a lot of like, yeah. I agree. Low investment argument is kind of bad because most people don't have a limit to high investment. You could be talking about 100k resonant artifacts, for example. Yeah, but... Oh, okay. Okay. This is important. I need to specify this. Okay? We are talking about the floor, not ceiling, right? Yeah. The floor to 9-star clear 412. That's it. That's all that fucking matters. And I, like, I get it. You might want to speed run. You might want to clear it way faster. You might want to get a fucking 300 crit damage shao, like this guy. I get it. But... The bar to nine star abyss is what matters for most. Like when we talk about low investment, when we talk about ease of access, when we talk about people just wanting to fucking get their primo gems. That's what we're looking for. It's the ease of just getting to that level, which is why I'm saying things like you can clear with any character in the game, but it might take you a bit harder to clear with fucking like, I was going to say Noel, but Noel's actually pretty good with Farina. You know, decent. Um, you know, like Razor. No, Razor, you can... Dude, every character on the team! Whatever. Barbara DPS, she can hyper bloop. Secondly, getting a full EM main stat set for hyper bloom is not necessarily Check faster double hydro than simply building a DPS set for Should a I? talent damage dealer to begin with. I know multiple people with top ranking wanderer sets by the time their flop domain finally decided to... Yeah! Flop. Stop doing flop! Okay, I said this earlier. Listen, a big reason I pretend flop doesn't exist is because you need to build a dendro character for hyperbloom anyways. You want good deepwood, you probably want good gilded. So you're gonna get gilded as you're farming. Like, let's say you want to build your Alhaitham or your Sino. Do you know what's cool? As you get good crit, you're also gonna get EM pieces. It's not just like, if you calculate in a vacuum how much EM it takes you to get, like how much resin it takes you to get a good EM set, it might look bad, okay? If all you want from... All you want for your Hyper Bloom team is just Flower Paradise Lost. You might have a better time. And this is a good point. I'll give it to him. You might, I, he didn't even make the point yet, but I'm sure he will. You might have a better time going and farming Emblem, building your Singcho, Shangling, Yalan, building another team, than just grinding for EM. And in that case, I would genuinely rather you go two piece 80 EM, two piece 80 EM, and the fucking Flop Domain can suck my left nut. Sure. But I'm also saying it's a very, like, Especially uh, the reason why we kind of disavow flop is because like, unless you want the other domain, you probably have a good gilded, not accidentally, but like as you're farming for the other stats you need, because so many characters want gilded or deep wood, especially, and this was especially true before 4.0, because now a lot of characters can use Marie Chaussée, a lot of characters can use golden dreams, golden troop, gilded, fuck, the other one, the one that uh, gives you skill damage, like Fischl, for example, went from her best in slot being for gilded, well, it was viable, like you could go for thunder soother or substats, but like for gilded was there, and then golden troop now is better, so it's like, it used to be even more true that there was way more of a reason to farm that domain, even if you didn't want to do Hyperloom. Even if you didn't care about Hyperloom, you were farming Golden Troop for like Fischl, Yai, a bunch of supports, Alhytham, a bunch of DPSs, Deepwood for any Dendro character. Like there's so, like even you could use shit on like Tanari. Like there's so many characters that could use that shit. But now I will admit there's more of a reason to do other domains with the reasons of 4.0 onwards. So if 
you literally don't need any set well you still want deep wood if you're playing hyperloom so my point still stands but if you don't need any of them then yeah it might be a waste to just fucking farm flop for em drop an onset em goblet for them with just how utterly rare elemental mastery main stats are it actually requires a very comparable oh my god i knew it i fucking knew it kill me now for hyperbloom as it is to acquire a basic functional set it's a perfectly valid option to pursue if the units on your account line up for it nicely but it is not inherently easier or quicker to accomplish That's true. than the other options. Like, well, it it's true, but also you can do two piece, two piece, or you yeah, you can literally, okay, I don't have the math on this. So if I'm wrong, spank me, but you literally can go for like a four star goblet, right? Like you can literally use, like, let's say you're super unlucky. Can't you do like a four star EM goblet? You lose what, four levels? I know this is fields crafting, but like, is it really gonna fuck you that hard? Hyperbloom is simply a piece of a puzzle, along with a sea of others available at your disposal. True. That you may choose to assist you in building functional teams around True. synergistic units. Okay, so it far so not, good. And has never been the end all be all of True. the meta, nor are teams that use a combination of random shitter units paired together for the sole purpose of generating hyperblooms. Okay, Loki that can work though. That's the only like Loki it can kinda work, but true. Easiest, most low game. Don't try to evaluate new units based on how they stack Wait up. Wait a second. Okay, game. guys, am I okay? I actually forgot about this. Isn't Eula's highest DPS team a hyperbloom team? Like, objectively, I'm not joking right now. I don't know. Like, answer me. Is wasn't it actually the highest? Like, there's a reason why not anymore because of Farina. Okay, before Farina. Sure. Before Farina. Uh, uh Farina's actually cracked, by the way. People are saying Farina's like, ah, oh, she's not that good. Farina's actually cracked. But anyways. There's a big reason why whenever I'm doing like a Fremen showcase, I just chuck him in a Hyperbloom team. Because the other characters in that team kind of fucking carry while you're on field and Cryo has synergy there. Does that mean it's inherently the most low investment? No. Well, it is actually because of the other stuff I talked about. If you're building your team for the Hyperbloom reaction damage and nothing else, like literally nothing else, yes, it's not ideal. I mean... Dude, it worked. It... Uh, like, obviously, you want your Hydro character, which is like the most broken fucking element in the game, to do damage too. Yeah, you want your, like, Dendro character to do damage if they can. Yeah. But, like, even without that, I think it low-key works a little. Whatever. Point is... <laughs> Whoever told him to react to this? Dude, it's not a stun lock! Someone agree, but it makes Hyperloom tr Thank you, Danny! I will, I will give you a kiss right now. I will give you a kiss right now. Get Syncho plus another, right? Probably. Because even if you don't, you're like, okay, I hate Hydro characters, you'll probably lose the 50-50 and get Mona. And then it's like, you might want Kokomi. You might want Ayato. You might want Child. You might want Nevelette. Nilo if you're playing Bloom, uh, but she's more niche. Yolan, well, really good, but niche. Or fucking Farina. Syncho, you can also get in the shop. That's true. So it's like, if you only have Barbara as a Hydro, would I recommend you play Hyperbloom? Probably. <laughs> like, maybe not, right? Maybe not. Well, maybe not. But it's like, at some point, you're going to get a fucking Hydro, and the Hydro characters are broken, so it's not a sacrifice to play a Hydro reaction team anyways. Like, it's not like, oh, fuck, man. I have to play... Fuck. I have to play Sucrose, Fischl, Singcho, and Nahida. Fuck. It's like, the team's good anyways. Well, obviously, you'd want a healer, maybe, but you get my point. Oh. Let's get the 412. Also, oh my god, how did I forget this? Also, do you know what a big thing for Hyperbloom when it came out? I feel like, okay, no disrespect to this person. Like, actually no disrespect. Like, it is what it is. I feel like, they, like it's like as if they started playing today. Like, yeah, maybe today you're farming Flop and you have Farina and you don't, well, if you have Farina, you can still play that team, but then you don't want to do Deepwood for some reason. Cool, don't do it. But like, not only was the domain efficient, also, guess who was played in every team? But not Hyperbloom. This motherfucker. Yeah, now there's more teams with Freena and like there's other stuff you can do. Sure. But guess who was played in literally every team that wasn't Hyperbloom and like some Dendro react like Dendro reactions. Which is a big reason why, hey man, you want to play your really strong Bennett team? Well, guess what you're doing second half? Uh, I don't know, the Hydro character, well, she wasn't out, but Hydro character, uh, maybe a Dendro character, maybe an Electro, and you don't even need a last character. 
Why shout Hyperloom teams? Because I fucking can. It doesn't matter, dude. It literally does not matter. Like, that's enough, dude. It, uh, do people not understand that playing Yolan and Nahida in literally any team is gonna clear? Like, it's that plus Kuki for free Hyperbloom, and then any character in the game. And then it's like, okay, but you want investment for your Yolan and stuff? Yeah, true. But do you know how you get good investment for your Nahida? By farming Deepwood. Hmm. What do you get while you farm Deepwood? Golden tr Fuck! Gilded Dreams! Hmm! Isn't that the set that Hyperblooms? So are you telling me you're gonna get a good Nahida and at the same time you'll build your Hyperbloom character without even trying? Whoa, that is crazy! It's almost as if you don't actually need that much investment for Hyperbloom. No, that can't be true. Actually stunlocked, dude. I wish I was fucking, fucking. Uh, I don't know. I almost said cocklocked, but that would have just been clipped, so I'm not gonna say that. What is this guy doing? Okay, he's literally cocklocking me. I have to say though, to change the subject, what the fuck is Nevelette, man? What the fuck? No. Sorry. How the fuck do I play this team? Fuck. I actually don't know where. It oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. Get him, get him, get him! Get him, you way! Yeah. Oh, we got this easy. Oh my god, we got this easy. Oh my... Dude! This is a team with only Hyperbloom damage, by the way. I don't want to kill it too fast, but... The hell? Wait, is Hyperbloom good? No, I thought we were... No, we've been lied to. No. No, it can't be! I have no dendro. I have no dendro. I have no dendro. I'm not even hyperblooming! Well, I think we're fine, though. Wait, what the fuck? I thought hyperbloom was bad. What? I'm kidding. I didn't think it was bad. Hmm. Hyperbloom's not broken, though. These characters suck. Scratch. I also didn't apply Hydro because I backed up. We're going to save our Barbara ult as a panic button. We also have C6 Barbara, which means a revive in case we die. Ult, ult, I swear! What? I ulted, I ulted. I promise I ulted. I swear. I swapped and spammed Q. It didn't work. I spammed Q. You guys cannot believe me if you don't want to believe me. I actually spammed the Q button. I spammed the fucking Argenti Star Rail Eula. Mods? Devour him alive! Oh, this is so easy. What the fuck? I have so much time. We have so much time! Damn. Oh. Good job on playing Hyper. Dude, someone was shitting on it. Like, I'm saying. Like, ideally, single target situation, obviously that enemy had Dendro Res, like, the second one and the third one's annoying, but, like, single target, you can do something like this, and then Sugro's Hyper Blooms for you with uh, a Dendro character. So you do this, this, Fischl, two really powerful single target characters, and, like, this seems good without Hyper Bloom. It's good without Hyper Bloom, right? So then you might be like, oh, but, but then it, Hyper Bloom's literally free, bro. It's fucking free. Mr. Boom! Of all time. Wait, that reminds me. That reminds me. Wait, 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 that reminds me. Wait a second. Paimon coming in. Paimon Shut the fuck! Oh! Please, please, don't explode! No! He's I think it might have worked. It might have worked. It might have worked. It might have worked. Okay. We didn't get it. We got an- wait, did we actually get an EM goblet? No way, we got the impossible artifact. Did we? I wasn't looking. Or was it a four star? No way! What? Wait, and set circlet. The fuck? Wait. <laughs> if this was flop, we'd have our hyperbloom team ready. We're gonna play a uh, Hyperloom on this account, probably. Especially after our recent uh, stunlocked incident. Dude, I watched the Jeff get stunlocked and me get stunlocked. He got one guide by me getting one guide. Hmm. Another for 
Forbidden Sands? No way! Sorry. This one's got your name on it. Oh. Wait, I got an EM goblet? No, no, that can't be. I, I've heard that these are so rare that you literally uh, can 70, 140 your character before getting one. No, no, that can't be. Nope, that can't be. It can't be true. Nope, nope, it can't be. That must be a glitch. That must be a glitch. No way. No way. Nope, can't be. My investment, but I will explain more on that in the showcase section. Now, starting things off, let's... Bro. Wise, I am <laughs> dude, dude, that was not in my video. What? Okay, okay, you think you're funny? Mods erratic. What? Wait, we got an EM sense and an EM, two EM circuits today? No, but it's too hard to get EM. It's too hard. You can't play hyper. Ooh, this could be good. This could be good. This could be good. Still stun lock, dude. Shut up. I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. <laughs> I'm just it's not a stun lock. It's just funny. It's not a stun lock Dude, it literally okay. Don't tell anyone I said this It literally motivated me to play my free to play account so I could build hyper blue on it I'm not even joking. Like I actually want to play that account so bad We're gonna do shout on one team hyper blue on the other We have an aoe carry and a single target carry. What do I know? I play genshin impact Ooh, Elemental mastery Wait a second Wait a second. EM goblet, huh? Mm -mm. I heard that an EM goblet. Nope, we're gonna stop. Let's keep going. Poop balls for Shao. It's been so. Dude, it's actually been like biased against us. You need like eight elements per half. Which is another reason why Hyperloom is good. Despite the people telling you Hyperloom isn't, you actually have very useful elements like Dendro, Hydro, Electro, and then whatever the fuck you want. Wow, that's cool. I'm just proud of my friend. Pulse trap? Unlucky. <gasps> EM circlet and EM goblet today. No. No. Mais ce n'est pas possible. Sorry. Stun lock. That's a old, that's an OG question. Another EM goblet? No. 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 Sorry. Um. I'm not playing Lethal Company today. What? I just got an EM goblet and circuit on the same set? There's no way. No, there's no way because remember chat, Hyperloom's not viable because it's not good actually because you can't get a EM set a goblet or circuit. No, this is not possible. No, this is just not possible. It must be a glitch. It can't, 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 can't be possible. It can't be possible. No. Okay, sorry. I'm not sunlocked. Um, do I want this? I'm not stunlocked, okay? I'm not. 